Okay, so here's what's going on. Here is what is going on. This stream is pre recorded. Yep, yep, pre recorded. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. Comcast. Ah, the motherfuckers over there at Comcast. Ah, oh, they're so cool. I love, I just love Comcast so fucking much. Comcast decided, right as Square began their show, that, uh, nah, nah, OBS is just gonna not work for you. I don't know what's going on, because my internet connection is fast and fine. It, it, it's, I guess it must be my upload speed. Let's do a speed test real quick. Oh yeah, my download speed, download speed is great. I'm at, I'm at 400, uh, which is a lot, uh, for me. And then, oh, I'm getting like, I'm getting less than one. I'm not even kidding. I'm getting less than one. Okay, I got just above one on, on the upload speed. So here's what's going on. I'm going to pre-record my reactions to Square Enix. Square Enix already started their show. They revealed a, a Marvel game, and that's as much as I've seen. Um, so, yeah, this is going to be uploaded to YouTube and to Twitch uh, instead of streamed live. I'm sorry. I wanted to do this live. I did Microsoft Live, and it worked great. I had no issues during Microsoft, but now... My router, uh, not my router, just my ISP said, fuck you. So, let's see. Square Enix. Let me see if I can't find Square. Here we go. I, I found it. Um, they appear to be showing off more of the, uh, of the game right now. The same game that I just left off on. So, we haven't really missed out on much. So... Here's this. All right. All right. Watch E3. So here's what we'll do. I'm going to close that. We're just going to watch from here. And we're going to watch over the beginning. Let's go. All of this. So we're going to watch all of this. I guess I don't really want to watch this from IGN specifically. Let's see. Can I find this? GameSpot. Square Enix. Here we go. Th this is the this is the one that I want to see. That you okay, so let's uh, let's start at the beginning of the showcase and then kind of catch up. We're just gonna watch it um, from here uh, at whatever pace uh, I, I decide, and we're just gonna react naturally um, to to everything here. I don't, I, I'll restate my uh, expectations for this since that is now going to be tossed and not used because the fucking stream died. Um, I'm not expecting Final Fantasy here. Um, I don't know what I'm expecting. Obviously, Mar I'm expecting Marvel. I'm going to predict Marvel. It, let's see if I get that right. Is there going to be Marvel? Holy shit! Wait, oh, it was a little... Okay, holy shit! It's Marvel! It's Guardians of the Galaxy! Wow! Okay, now that I've gotten that out of the way... Oh, I should probably unmute this. Except I really shouldn't. I should keep this really low. Because they're about to fucking play We Need a Hero. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's gonna get me muted, so... Yeah, so we're so we're gonna we're gonna mute that. But here's what I will say. I mean, I guess maybe I don't have to worry about live DMCA. I don't care if they own the audio to the video. I just don't want um I just don't want my live stream to get banned. Excuse me, I should have muted. That was a painful sneeze. So yeah, I, I'm needless to say, I'm a little perturbed at um, my ISP for deciding to fuck me over right now.
but that's that's fine I'll just kind of try to mute a little bit to maybe save the audio, but it's still probably gonna get claimed because I'm not good at doing this Yeah, so, I mean the set the, it works it works because Guardians of the Galaxy had that like that 80s soundtrack, right? You know, do you remember the drive of Nash? Yeah, all, all that. So, so you know, this works. But like, I, I'm, I'm <sighs> with the fucking live DMCAing and shit this year. I'm, I'm really sketchy about like copyrighted music being played in these trailers. I don't get, I don't get why they do that, especially because it's Square. Square is capable of hiring musicians and writing really good music. So I don't get why they don't do original scores for these things. Like, why why do we have to buy licensed music so that way streamers who restream this shit Hi, get fucking shit canned? For the past few years, we've had the privilege to work um, on our version of yeah, um, I'm just gonna let this play out and reimagine it into a single player and uh, I'll, I'll, I'll watch it legit action adventure game. It's our own fresh take on the Guardians and something that's really unique. Because I was too busy being mad <laughs> at my fucking frame rate to actually watch this live. To lead this band of misfits. But today I'm really, really excited to have all of you join us on this journey. And you'll hear more about the game from our team behind this project. Right, let's do this. And then definitely after this concludes, Com um, Comcast is going to be receiving some questions from me and probably not answering me because, you know, they don't care. And kind of cherry pick For the record, Comcast is literally the only option that gives me more than uh, like 20 upload speed. I'm not even kidding. I'm not even kidding. This area that I live in sucks in this particular side of town. We were showing them the design of the characters, how they would look, and they stayed silent. I don't know if it's a minute, but in my head it was a minute. I was like, Oh my god, like, they hate it. We realized how much that Marvel and Eidos Montreal share and have in common, and that we knew the Guardians were in perfect hands. Looking at the samples that Eidos were kind enough to show me, I think he's fantastic. These models look pretty good. Absolutely in the spirit of what these characters are. What makes the gameplay experience unique to me is no matter in what phase of the game you are, whether you're in exploration or you're fighting, the Guardians are constantly around you and you never feel alone. While you're the leader, the Guardians will really also did mo -cap. challenge you and make decisions on their own. I'm surprised they didn't hire the fucking Guardians really cast. At this Guardians point, you know, Death Stranding, I, I said this before, Death Stranding using real actors as the models for characters was weird as fuck for me because that game didn't need that it wasn't based off of a real movie or anything like i feel like there was such a waste of potential to to use real people as the models in that game instead of just you know making new characters and then this game comes along and this game which would make sense to use the real actors doesn't I, I don't know. I, I'm not a big Guardians of the Galaxy guy, though. I, I, I like the first movie for what it was, but I guess the bigger thing is I'm not a Marvel guy. I don't watch movies. I don't really pay attention to these things. Uh, oops, sorry about that. There are a lot of uh, very interesting villains I don't know. in the Marvel franchise. And when you're starting to work on a story like I don't this, think this game is necessarily for me. Of which ones will make the best for this story. That gives us the opportunity to bring in some that are well known, but some that are also not all that well known. What Ados is getting so right about them is capturing what it's like to be a misfit family. You're also bringing an amazing imagination to it. You're going to see planets and characters that are going to blow your mind. Interpreting it in its own way, I think, makes it feel incredibly fresh. 
and exciting. It's not a matter of trying to replicate the comic or trying to replicate the film. It's trying to take the medium you're working in and make the best version of Guardians out of that. Okay, you know what? That's fair. His his point there is fair. And you know what? Maybe these models are based more off of the comic book now that I think about it a little bit more. I don't know. I haven't read the comic book. I wouldn't know that. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I guess now they're going to go into a gameplay loop of showing the game. Yeah, so here's the title screen. Uh... So this is probably the most we'll, we're going to be seeing out of like PS5 co like exclusive content being the Square Enix showcase. I mean Square does stuff for the other companies as well. But you know mostly PlayStation I'd like to say. I know we clearly need a plan. What about selling Gamora's crap? What? Oh come on, you've been hoarding them stupid knickknacks ever since you first joined us. I mean don't tell me they ain't worth nothing. Quarantine zone was always holding out on My figurines are not knickknacks. Huh, team's in trouble, and you can't be bothered to make no sacrifice. I will sacrifice. What is this? Is this Telltale? Guys, I think we should hear our group for once. The only problem with your plan is that Lady Hellbender only buys monsters, and you are not a monster. Groot, are you <laughs> really offering to- No, no, he is not offering that, okay? Where's baby Groot? We need more baby cutesy. Absurd. Lady Hellbender seeks the monster within. The small, ugly one is clearly the correct choice. He's cruel, sadistic, and his soul is filthy and filled with rage. I vote we sell Groot. I honestly think Lady Hellbender will go for it. Yeah, well, I vote for not Groot. I also vote for the creepy little beast. Two votes each. Peter? <laughs> I, I, I don't really know what's happening here. I'm, I'm just kind of mesmerized by... I, why are we selling Groot? Alright, let's do this. Let's go sell a monster. Okay. Okay. Good, good joke. Good joke, Square. I ever mentioned how much I hate rain? Hellbender's castle isn't even that far. That is not a castle. It is an impregnable fortress. So how do we Ask Peter! Let's just get closer. We'll figure it out on the way. This looks all right. Visually speaking, I'm not in love with the graphical style, but all right. Good. We've already got a beast. All that's left is the merchant part. Good thing I put on my official merchant costume. There is no such thing. Right? The fact you ain't sure don't vote so good. Whoa! That is some really crazy lightning out there. Whoa! <laughs> I, I like these kinds of games, though, where you have, like, a group of characters that banter at each other while you're playing. Kid Icarus Uprising comes to mind with a good cast of characters that are constantly interacting while you're doing gameplay stuff. It can be really endearing, but it can also be really annoying. It depends on the cast, really. And I don't just mean, like, who they cast, I mean, like... The dynamics of the characters themselves have to really work together well. And you're dead. Gone. Gone, but not forgotten. That's the YouTube logo. Frozen in a uh, block of jelly. It's not alone. Get ready. Yeah, this this seems to have some kind of original composition going for it. 
So I I really just don't understand why we got to use copyrighted music in trailers. Like does that does that help sell trailers? Do people hear like we need a hero in a trailer and be like, "Oh, I know that song. Now I'm going to buy this game." Is that a real thing that people say? I I I don't think so. I mean, personally, I don't, but maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. You know what What sells me with video game trailers? Is hearing the score of the video game itself. Or whatever the, 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 comp the composer is able to put together themselves. This music sounds more like what I would expect out of this. Like, it sounds like... Vague Marvel music. I shall hurl the creature over the chasm so he may activate the bridge. I may activate a hole through your face. Put me down. He'll be fine. Just curl up in a ball. What? Drax. Yeah, be like Sonic. Peter. It's okay. He'll land on his feet. Ooh. I guess that only applies to cats. You sons of dogs! Scott Boston Act! I am not familiar with these words. Order the beast to do its job. Fuck it, come on, man. Ram it, fast face. Fix the bridge and we'll raise your cut by 5%. Nope, oh, that, that's always a good money incentive. Okay, deal. Thanks for the bridge, Rocket. If you even think of pulling that Wait, Scott again. Hear that? Uh, guys. I know a dude who looks just like this guy. Yes, show that gelatin who's boss! Cat... ...thing? Cat alien? No. Oh, okay, now now the stream's frame rate is... Uh, I can't... Is that the game? Is that the game struggling to run? I guess this might be... ...you know, in development footage. That we're seeing here. Is this really the highest quality that I can do? Yep. Yep, I'll come. Just checking. Oh yeah, with the powers of 80s rock! Oh, okay, so I guess this is where that music comes in then. I don't- I don't know if this is licensed or if this is original, though. I don't- I don't recognize this song in particular. I normally listen to a lot of alt-rock and, like, classic rock, stuff like that. Yeah, he's Groot. Oh, right. The cage. The point of even getting the Flark thing was looking like we mean business. All right, Rocket. Time to put on your monster face. I only got one face, Quill. Are you sure about this, Peter? <laughs> Look at him. You better have one hell of a sales pitch. <laughs> I thought they selected Groot. Maybe Gamora's right. We should try selling Groot instead. Oh, what? Really? This is an affront to democracy. I just think that we might need Rocket on the outside for this one. <sighs> yeah, we noticed. <laughs> you want to make that call, then you better not mess this up. We're so angsty, this raccoon. When the time comes, I'll get you out of there. Rocket style, if I got it. Drac. I like talking raccoons. Specifically, I like talking raccoons that make me uh, go into um, financial debt. Also, we need a hero is, is is coming back on again. Why? Remember, buddy, menacing like me. Only so, so no one will ever be able to stream this game. Is what I'm gathering. Uh, that's that's one thing. Um, what else is there to know about this game? Uh, big open world.
Um, <laughs> I, I don't know. This, this really isn't doing anything for me, I'm gonna be honest. Okay. Are we g giving us another trailer? Okay. I mean, listen, if you like... If you like this type of game, you're probably all all about this, maybe. For me, I'm... I'm indifferent towards the style of game and also the franchise itself. My roommate might like this. But Guardians of the Galaxy, how many times do I have to kill you? Once the audacity that you thought you could rob me, Dweller, feast upon them. Ooh, that's a cool tentacle you got there. You got this! Probably! Yeah, I mean... Yeah. It looks alright. That's some cool bonus content we got here, too. Sun Lord. City Lord. I don't know these things. Now we're going to revisit two iconic brands that are being remastered for modern platforms. First up... Relive the classic games in the Final Fantasy series. Okay. Get one more peek at Legend of Mana ahead of its June 24th launch. Okay, so there is going to be Final Fantasy here. The games that inspired a generation. <laughs> Final Fantasy. One through six? Okay. To Steam and Mobile. Oh. Never mind. <laughs> I'm good. <sighs> I want to play Final Fantasy VI. I hear a lot of good things about that game. I've played Final Fantasy I on NES Classic, and I, I dislike that game. But anyways, here's... What is this? Again, he just said it, and my brain can't remember. Legend of Mana. Available soon. It's cover to Switch, but eh, I'm good. Earth's mightiest heroes continue their fight to defend the world with Marvel's Avengers. More so Marvel! Dynamics is excited to share the latest updates with you. Including new mission types and a growing roster of heroes. More Marvel. Okay. Okay. Yep. Well, <laughs> there was a little bit of Final Fantasy there. I was kind of excited. Um, I guess, uh, I mean, the, the seven, like, the port of the original seven that's on Switch runs really well. I really like uh, some of the uh, emulator features on that, like the uh, the god mode and the fast forward. And there was a there was a third emulator option that you could do on there that I'm not really... Oh, you could turn off random encounters, right. That one especially was really, really helpful for me, the guy who, who doesn't really love random encounters. <laughs> I was able to choose how frequently I got random encounters, which maybe that made me a little under-leveled by the time of the final boss. But at the same time, I didn't really struggle with Sephiroth, so, you know, for what it's worth, I, I had a full Final Fantasy VII experience with less encounters than what most people probably experienced, and I really enjoyed it. I have a theory that I'm really gonna like the remake when I go to play Final Fantasy VII Remake. Um, but, you know, I'm gonna wait till I get a PS5 because I wanna play the Intergrade version that has the Yuffie stuff. But, you know, that, that could be a, a while from now.
Just have to see. I applaud your efforts to connect with your roots, but as a man who has seen three Black Panthers fall, I must warn you of a few things. I'm still a little sad that um <sighs> I'm blanking on his name because I'm a terrible person and I can't remember names. But I'm still sad that the actor for Black Panther passed away like two years ago. He was still really young too. It's like 30 or so when he passed. Maybe not even, I, I don't remember, but I do remember he was quite young. I have not seen Black Panther. Of course, it's it's a Marvel movie. Of course, I haven't seen it. I'm honestly surprised I have seen Guardians of the Galaxy, but most of that I have forgotten. So, I guess, what does it count for? I watched Avengers uh, Infinity War, but not Endgame. That was the last Marvel movie that I watched. And I watched Iron Man 1 and 2, and, and I think 3. And I watched the first Captain America movie. I watched the first Thor movie. And then there was like two Marvel movies a year after that. And I was like, eh, I'm good. I, I don't have that kind of money to, to spend that often. And then I just kind of lost all interest. Now it's time to give mobile players a quick look at some of the games that will be available. What is this Persona 5 fucking transitions? Our intelligence report. That's not even Square property. That's Atlas. Their reach is unlike anything we have seen before. Following Agent 47's disappearance, you were selected because of your remarkable skills. Execution must be perfect. We will strike from the shadows, and they will never know. Hitman Sniper! Oh, you're not even gonna give us the full trailer? A sad and beautiful tale that what is this? Throughout eternity. Final Hallway? Mobile entry in the Nier series. Nier reincarnation. Nier Mobile? What? Oh, here's Final Fantasy 1. I, I wonder if we're gonna be seeing, um... That, <laughs> that Final Fantasy 7, the final soldier, the fucking battle royale. I wonder if that's gonna be here. Lots of Final Fantasy. Here's... Uh, yeah, the mobile games. Uh, I'm good. I, I really don't want to play mobile... Mobile games. Oh, this is already out. This is something that's been out, I guess. It looks like it's like just fire... Capitalizing on Fire Emblem Mobile. Oh, here we go. Here it is! I just caught... I was just talking about this. Okay, so we can go to Midgar. It looks like I saw uh, Wu-Tang or whatever it's called. The town that Yuffie's from. Still nothing. And oh, that's a wait. That's a mobile game too. Today, the team at Platinum Games is giving you an exclusive look at the epic world of Babylon's Fall, featuring fluid combat. Wait, why is Platinum here? And a unique art style. Is Platinum owned by Square? I thought Platinum was owned by Sega. Because I thought Bayonetta was a Sega character. I guess that is wrong. The, the fucking bitrate. I mean, that's YouTube compression, though. But fuck, this did not look... This is not compressing well. I feel like this game has a cool art style, but I just can't see it all. I can kind of tell like something's going on here with this art style, but at the same time, I can't make it out. Is it supposed to be like hand painted? Kind of like Skyward Sword? That tower's name is Babylon. I can see the fucking aliasing. Does the savior of Neo Babylon stand among us? Let's 
Oh god, they said the word. I know what chat was saying at that very moment. Amoongus. Music with no sound effects. Okay. I mean, it works, I guess. Though sometimes post-editing the sound effects in kind of makes the trailer hit harder. I guess that's just a small preference thing. They did have, like, that one trailer from fucking Kingdom Hearts that was kind of like this, except it was slow piano music. I'll take this over copyrighted music any day, though. We're all prisoners of our subjective reality. Believe only what you see, and you like to end up seeing only what you believe. Hmm. But two paths lie ahead. <laughs> what? Ascend to the heaven above the tower of fall. What are you saying? This one now before you. Now begins its tale of both hope and despair. <laughs> okay. I guess they worked with. So I've never played a near automata. Automata. I don't know how you pronounce it. I've never played this game. I've never really seen very much of it. I guess that's about to change right now. But um. Yeah, this is something that I don't know if I'm interested in, to be honest. It's another one of those games that's really fucking long, from what I understand. Near, anyways. Great story, from what I know. Great soundtrack. Amazing soundtrack, from what I hear. But, again... I, I only have so much time for long games. That's why Xenoblade, as much as I love it, will be a long time before I stream it. I'd like to see some Chrono Trigger, um, which is a game I have not played as well, but that would make me happy because it's a game that I would that I've been wanting to play, even if it's just a port of the old SNES version. You know, I know the DS version has some some additional content, but you know, give me just a, a port of the original SNES Chrono Trigger, and I'd I'd be happy. But this, you know. This I have no no opinion on. Now let's check out the next major entry in the popular Life is Strange series, True Colors. Life is Strange. Team Deck Nine is ready to give you a deeper look at Alex Chen's psychic power of empathy. But first, here's a look at the Life is Strange remastered collection. Feels so weird to be back after five years. You're still Max Caulfield. Multi award winning series. What do you remember about us as kids? <coughs> I think about us as little pirates running and jumping through Arcadia Bay. We are awesome! Returns remastered. I didn't learn my lesson at all. I'm sorry, which version is which? Come on, let's dance! Or take my picture with your new camera. <laughs> That's Rachel Amber. After my dad died and you moved, I felt abandoned. Oh, good. You're here. Rachel saved my life. She was my angel. Something happened to her. We have to find her, Max. Oh. 
I feel like this music is copyrighted too. Square gives no fucks about streamers though. I discovered I could reverse time. What the hell is this? I'm sorry, was that a bath scene? Was that was that a bath scene? Before you regret it. Then I realized I had a choice and the power to change everything. Arcadia Bay is on the edge of disaster. Time to change time. I mean whatever happens, I'll always have your back. I've heard about this game series before. I I don't know if I will be picking it up myself. It still kind of looks pretty dated for what it's worth. But, you know, I guess if it's a great game, then it's a great game. I hope you enjoyed that first look at official gameplay from the remastered collection. As a longtime fan, but I was going to be honest, I don't want to be mean to the game, but. Okay, well. This collection features I mean, yeah, I can see the difference, lip sync and visuals. but the there's still to some games. aspects to it that's like, uh... March, we also revealed the next major game in the series, Life is Strange True Colors, a small town supernatural mystery. Alex Chen must uncover the truth behind her brother's death, using her psychic power of empathy to unravel the shocking secrets of Haven. Psychic Christ. power of Today, empathy. You, hmm. Okay. Here's game director Zach Garris for more. This Alex looks a little better, though. Of empathy is integral to the story of Life is Strange. A little. Colors. It impacts every relationship she builds and every decision she makes. Never thought I'd have a freaky empath friend. For years, Alex has been unable to shut out the strong feelings of others. The fear, sadness, and anger of those around her leading her to believe her power is a curse in the wake of gabe's death Alex i what what do you mean gabe's death i'm still here embrace her power maybe i can't believe this is happening my stream doesn't think that though my stream definitely did die from the very start you can use alex's power to focus on brightly colored auras to gain an insight into people's emotions gabe was too young just too young. Yeah, I am pretty young. Alex's relationships with the full so stay the fuck friends, away from me. As well as sparking new dialogue options and events. As here, from a scene very early on in the game. You're gonna lose her. You're gonna lose her and it's all your fault. Alex has uncovered a secret that Max has his eyes like that. From his long-term girlfriend. And now he is terrified that Alex will reveal it before he can talk to Riley. That black She's eyes? The best thing that's ever happened to me. So please, help me out. <laughs> call call out Max bullshit! Listen. Thanks for telling me the truth, Alex. But are we still together? Are you serious? I need to get back to work. Sure, Alex, we'll, uh, we'll get out of your way. When Alex encounters a particularly strong aura, she can reach out to actively connect with that person's emotions. Mm. This generates a nova, a supernatural flare that transforms the world around Alex into a reflection of that person's psyche. And then if it gets and strong enough, it turns into a supernova. Alex can experience and then everyone and dies to get to the root of their issue. But not every Sorry. emotional crisis can be easily I'll shut up. with. Some carry a dangerous, even life-threatening amount of power. He's dead! I wish I were too. No decision is easy, and the consequences will be felt across the game. This anger could kill her. What if... I could just... take it away? Using Alex's power is the only way you can uncover the truth behind her brother's death. What would that do to her? What would it do to me? And even if I can, should I? No. How far will you go and pursue the truth? The choice is yours.
It's an interesting premise for a game. Alex's powers look so awesome. I have no idea how I'll make some of these choices, but I can't wait to play it with you all when it comes out on September 10th. Don't forget, you can pre-order Life is Strange True Colors now. And if you choose the Ultimate Edition, you'll also receive the Life is Strange Remastered Collection. Whoa! And that's it for today. Make sure to follow the Life is Strange social channels for more. Okay. I'm a little interested. Not super, but I like the premise of the game, actually. And now, we are excited to unveil a brand new title from Square Enix Japan. Okay. Final Fantasy 16. It's not. I'm here to kill Chaos. That's my mission. This chaos is already dead. We killed him in Sonic Adventure. Looks like chaos has been waiting for us. You gonna make us go in there and find you? Guess we'll just show ourselves in. What is this? I only know one thing. I want to kill chaos. I need to. It's not a hope or a dream. It's like a hunger. Is this an older game? I said a brand new series. But I don't know. The visuals aren't really doing it for me. This is the shrine of chaos. He's here. We just have to hunt him down. Kinda reminds me a little bit aesthetic wise of like Bloodborne or Dark Souls. This is it. No. A, a little, only a little. Not too much. I mean, it's definitely more flashy. With like attack animations and shit. Then was, was that the Black Knight? I would be grateful if you looked for him. Chaos. Open your heart, it'll be alright. Yeah. No way! I can't believe this! We're here to kill Chaos. The prophecy's very own warriors of light. Really? He always wore such splendid armor. With a helmet that was terrifying to behold. It's Garland! No. I become Chaos. <clears throat> Stranger of Paradise. Final Fantasy Origin. Huh. Oh, cool. I'll I'll be sure to play that on my PlayStation 5. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, I can't get one. Amazing Square Enix titles you can play now, as well as those to come. Yeah, here's what I'd like to see. Just hit me with it. Gonna drop plate number seven. They're gonna do what? They're gonna drop the plate. What do you mean? Pick it up. But the food could go bad. Oh yeah, world ends with you. Spoken. Okay, I don't. I haven't seen this game before. Um, there's Final Fantasy 16. It's all or nothing. Unless I was reading that wrong, that might have been 14 actually. Something to do with 14. No, no, of course I will. I'll call you. I'll call you. Thank you for joining us today. Keep an eye out for news about our next Square Enix presents. I'm Matt Mercer. See you next oh, time. Oh, that was Matt Mercer. Holy shit. <laughs> That's a lot of copyright. Uh. Okay. Hey. <laughs> was. Okay, is that. Yeah, that's everything. Okay. Um. Did they announce Ligma? Chaos!
chaos. Okay. Uh, okay, okay. Here's what I've got. Here's what I've got to say. Um, here's what I've got. Uh, that was kind of, that was kind of, eh, for me. There was nothing there that I really was, uh, in love with. I don't know what I was expecting. Uh, like I said, it wasn't, uh, it definitely wasn't Final Fantasy, and I was correct, kind of, uh, with that prediction. Um, but... You know, um, it's, it's going to be a while, I think, before we see Final Fantasy VII Remake Part Two. I, I was predicting this before, and I still feel that way. Um, but, you know, what was there? There was Marvel, and then there was... Oh, God, excuse me. There was more Marvel, and then there was Final Fantasy Mobile. Oh. And then there was Final Fantasy Mobile. Huh. And then there was, uh, there's, uh, that almost Final Fantasy, like Final Fantasy Origin Chaos. What is that? What is that? I need to know what that is. I mean, I don't, but like, what the hell? Um, yeah, I, I, I didn't really, I didn't really love that Square Enix presentation, but hey, at least I was able to watch it. I, I'm still really fucking pissed off at at Comcast. I have no idea if I can even stream because I was intending to stream uh, Pokemon. So, I guess if you look on live libraries and you see a, po a Pokemon Part 13, then hey, that look it looks like I uh, managed to do it. Um, if not, then it looks like my internet didn't come back today. I, I, don't, I don't know what's, what's going on, but it, it's really fucking irritating to me that I can't get this to work. But, uh, you know, let's, let's dial it back to this. Um, yeah, it, it was just, it was just all right. I wasn't, I wasn't in love with anything, but I'm not, I'm not upset. You know, Square isn't as big of a uh, conference as Microsoft, Nintendo. I was, you know, definitely expecting this to be shorter and it was. So I'd say it's it's not quite what I thought it was going to be, and I don't know what I thought it was going to be. It was a little less, but you know, still, despite that, I'm all right. Yeah. You know, yeah. I'll live. I I didn't, you know, I realistically I don't think Chrono Trigger or anything like that that I was throwing around would show up, you know. I I feel like Square in uh, 2021 is a little bit different of a company than what they were back then. I don't know if we would see those things. I feel like they're just going to keep capitalizing on Final Fantasy. I guess they do Marvel stuff now. I kind of need to learn more about Square Enix. Square is one of those companies that I've heard a lot of people rave about. A lot of people always are like, yeah, Square, yeah, Kingdom Hearts, yeah, Final Fantasy, yeah, this, that. And I'm like, okay, cool. And I never played a Square game, as far as I was really aware, up until uh, Final Fantasy VII, when I played it last Christmas. And, uh, yeah, I haven't played any other Square games since then. So, but you know what? I, I liked Final Fantasy VII enough that I was like, you know what? Maybe there'll be something here that I might be interested in. And, you know, no, no, there really wasn't. But, yeah, meh, meh. All right, well, I'm going to go and see if I can't actually start my stream. Um, I'll, I'm going to, you know what, let's, let's, let's check. Let's just do another speed test. Might as well, right? Yeah, uh, let's see. Let's see. Speed test. Let's do. Let's do it. Okay, great. Upload speed is fantastic. Or rather, download speed is fantastic. And yeah, barely, barely cranking out one. So yeah, the stream looks like a stream is not happening right now. Wow, that test was even worse than before. 
Um, yeah, I, I don't, I don't fucking know what the hell is going on with that. But, okay. <laughs> Check back tomorrow. I know this info uh, thing doesn't say it because I didn't realize what time Capcom was at uh, in relation to Eastern Standard because, again, the schedule is in Pacific, so that made me have to do math and I didn't feel like doing it. But I'm actually going to be here tomorrow for Capcom, I think. And then, um, of course, Nintendo Direct will be covered by myself and my friend Caleb. So show up on Tuesday if you're interested in that. Or just check YouTube for the VOD, like you will have had to in order to see this one. Alright, thanks for watching. I'm gonna go. Bye.